From the state capitol with news from across the mountain state, this is West Virginia Tonight. On this day a decade ago, a university high school student, Skylar Neese, was murdered for reasons still unexplained by people she thought were her best friends. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Amanda Barron. West Virginia Tonight reporter Shyla Klein met with the Neese family to learn about how they've been coping after all these years. Ten years ago, Skylar Neese came to this spot and never returned. Now, a decade later, her memory lives on in those who knew her best. This time of year is particularly hard for the Neese family. What started as a missing persons case turned into their worst nightmare. In July, July the 4th, I, I just start, you know, getting sad and crying. And <laughs> so it, it takes a couple of days before I can get over it. <laughs> Even after all this time, the family says there's still no relief from the pain. But they hope that Skylar can be remembered for the person that she was and not the tragic circumstances of her passing. She came in one day and said, Daddy, I need a piece of bread. And I said, Honey, what do you need the bread for? She said, I'm feeding the ants. And I said, Feeding the ants? Don't do that. And she said, Well, Daddy, they have to eat too. That, that's the kind of heart she had. It was golden. Skylar's family says she had aspirations to become a lawyer, that she was headstrong, never backed down in a debate, and had a deep compassion for other people. Mashad says she thinks she would probably be married with a few kids by now. And what's hard for her is knowing that the family will never get to see her go to prom, graduate, or walk down the aisle. It's hard when you see her friends and everything that they're getting to do and you know how wonderful their lives are being and, and knowing that that was taken away from her. But Skylar's legacy doesn't just live on in memory. It also lives on in Skylar's law, which expanded the Amber Alert system to include children who might not be abducted but are in clear danger. According to Tom Bloom, who advocates for the law, it helped find dozens of children in West Virginia and was enacted in other states. Dave, Neese, and Bloom are working together to take the law to the national stage. If the kid's never done it, in Skyler's case, never run away, never had a problem with her, and bam, they're missing, that's a problem. And if we have something like the Skyler Alert, we can at least send it out. And Skyler's parents also started Skyler's Promise. Skyler's killers allegedly plotted the murder in school, which students overheard. Skylar's Promise urges kids to go to a responsible adult if they hear something dangerous. We never want anyone to go through what we went through. If it can be avoided, please avoid it. It's, it's the worst hell I've ever, ever been through, okay? And I wouldn't wish what I went through on my worst enemy. And I don't ever want anybody else to go through it. For West Virginia Tonight, I'm Shayla Klein in Morgantown. We're following the latest developments in that officer-involved shooting in Raleigh County. We